Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marani YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about ship, rudder, their parts, function, types with a simple diagram. So let's discuss about the ship rudder and rod. The basic form of a rudder is a flat plate or a sheet of material which is used to steer the ship or boat or submarine. We know that a rudder, it is a flat plate or sheet of material which is used to steer the ship, boat or submarine etc. A rudder operates by directing the flow of water thereby making a turning moment which makes the ship turn. A rudder operates by directing flow of water thereby making a turning moment which makes the ship turn. A rudder is a steel structure formed by two plates of 10 to 20 mm thickness. A rudder it is a steel structure formed by two plates of 10 to 20 mm thickness. Modern rudders are streamlined to reduce water resistance. Modern rudders are streamlined to reduce water resistance. Okay. The basic form of rudder is a flat plate or steel of material which is used to steer the ship, boat and submarine etc. Rudder operates by directing flow of water thereby making turning moment which makes ship turn. Rudder is a steel structure formed by two plates of 10 to 20 mm thickness. Modern rudders are streamlined to reduce the water resistance. Here you can see a diagram symbol diagram of a rudder. In this picture we can see rudder stock on the top, then horizontal web, lifting tube, vertical web, drain plug, locking pindle, gudgeon pin, rudder post, bearing pindle and all. Stock. It turns the rudder passing vertically upwards to the steering gear through watertight rudder trunk. So it turns rudder passing vertically upwards to the steering gear through watertight rudder trunk. Rudder stock is usually connected by bolter coupling so that rudder can be removed for maintenance without disturbing stock. Here rudder stock is usually connected by a bolted coupling so that rudder can be removed for maintenance without disturbing stock. Stock means it turns rudder passing vertically upwards to steering gear through watertight rudder tank. The rudder stock is usually connected by a bolted coupling so that rudder can be removed for maintenance without disturbing stock. Bearings. The weight of rudder is taken by the combination of upper and lower bearing. Bearing means here the weight of rudder is taken by the combination of upper and lower bearing. Drain plug. These are provided for drainage of water. Drain plug are provided for the drainage of water. <coughs> lifting tube. It is fitted to allow unlifting of the rudder. Lifting tube. It is fitted to allow unlifting of rudder. Rudder pindle. Pindle is a pin or bolt which is used as part of pivot or hinge. Pindle is a pin or bolt which is used as part of pivot or hinge. Here we can say rudder pindle. Okay. It is used as pin or bolt. Then types of rudder. There are three types of rudder mainly. Spade or balanced rudder, semi-balanced rudder, unbalanced rudder. Three types of rudder. Balanced rudder, semi-balanced rudder and unbalanced rudder. Okay. Balanced rudder or spade rudder. A rudder has 20 to 40 percentage of area forward of stock. Balanced rudder will have 20 to 40 percentage of area forward of stock. Similarly, there is no torque on rudder stock at certain angle. There is no torque on rudder stock at certain angle. This type of rudder is known as balance rudder. Here means the balance rudder has 20 to 40 percent of area forward of stock. Similarly, there is no torque on rudder stock at certain angle. The axis of rudder is placed near the center of gravity. So, torque required to move the rudder will be very less. The axis of rudder is placed near to center of gravity. So, torque required to move the rudder will be very less. This is about a balance rudder or spared rudder. Then semi balance rudder. A rudder with 20% of its area forward of its stock is called semi balanced rudder. It is often found in fin screw ship. Semi balanced rudder. A rudder with 20% of its area forward of its stock is called semi balanced rudder. It is often found in fin screw ship. Then unbalanced rudder. A rudder with wall of its area aft of its stock is called semi unbalanced rudder. Unbalanced rudder means a rudder with wall of its area aft of its stock. This is what about unbalanced rudder and all. Thank you.